everyone, my name is Emily. I'm a yoga instructor at Updog Yoga and Performance Power Yoga. Today we're gonna do an advanced practice and all you need is two blocks. If you don't have blocks, it's okay, you don't need them. We're gonna start in child's pose. So join me on your mat. From a tabletop position, bring your big toes together, take your knees as wide as your mat. Sink your hips back, reach your arms forward, and rest on your forehead. From here, we're gonna take 10 slow, deep breaths. So deep breath in through your nose. Deep breath out through your nose. Keep breathing. Make sure your fingers are spread wide, your chest and belly can sink down. And take three more breaths into the back of your ribs, back of your lungs, back of your heart. to tabletop onto your hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, press back into downward facing dog. So lift your hips up and press back. Bring your feet hip distance apart, spread your fingers wide. Look to your knees or your navel. Pedal your knees a few times, wiggle your hips. Just move around. Remember to breathe in every pose. Anytime you need to rest, you're welcome to rest. And then join me again when you're ready to move on. Look forward to your hands. Ragdoll pose, walk forward. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. Grab your elbows and hang. Keep a little bend in your knees. Gently sway side to side. Change the crossing of your arms, bring the opposite arm in the front. And then to roll up, put a bend in your knees, relax your arms, slowly roll yourself up to standing. If your head is relaxing to lift. And then on your mat, just bring your hands together in prayer, close your eyes for a moment, take some deep breaths here. Take this moment to get grounded and centered for your practice. your breath is the most important part of this practice. So if there's any part of it you can't do, no worries. Just come back to your breath. So go ahead and stand at the top of your mat. I just tucked my shirt in. <laughs> we'll try some sun salutations. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your arms up over your head so palms of your hands face one another. Exhale, forward fold. Put a bend in your knees. Come all the way down to your mat. Relax your head. Look towards your shins. Inhale, halfway lift. Put your hands on your shins. Find a flat back. And then exhale, chaturanga. So plant your hands. Step back to a plank. Shift forward and lower. So try to hover halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Point your toes into your mat. Lift your thighs, look forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press up and back. Let's take three breaths here in downward facing dog. We're taking these sun salutations to build heat in our body. Prepare us for poses later. Especially some bigger poses. And we'll move breath to movement. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Reach for your toes. Inhale, mountain pose. Sweep your arms up over your head. Exhale, forward fold. Come right back down. 
Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Place your hands, step back, shift forward, and lower. If you're not sure what I'm doing, I have a sun salutation A video you can watch to get more familiar with sun salutations. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step to the top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, mountain pose, sweep your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, come right back down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. This time, take five breaths in your downward facing dog. Feel free to pedal your knees. Make sure your fingers are spread wide. This time we'll add some bigger poses. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit down into a chair, reach your arms up. So palms of your hands face one another. Sit back into your heels, sit back into your chair. Press your thighs back, draw your belly in, breathe. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga. So step back. Take your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Let me get the wall right here. <laughs> Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your hands. Lower down to your back knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Come up. And let's hold and breathe here. So sink down into your knee or down into your hips, but try to square your hips. Pull your right hip back, push your left hip forward, draw your belly in. Three breaths here. Imagine you're dragging your right heel to the back of your mat. Inhale, exhale, half split. Bring your hands down, lift your right toes. This is where you may want some blocks. You can put some blocks underneath your hands on either side of your foot if your hands don't reach, or if your hands do reach, just put your hands on the floor. You can also use books here. Inhale, crescent moon, come back up. Exhale, warrior, what are you doing? Exhale, airplane crescent, swing your arms back, lean forward. Inhale, warrior two, ground your back heel down, open up. Look towards your right fingertips. Nice wide stance into your feet. Roll your right knee open to your pinky toe. Draw your belly in. Inhale. Exhale, side angle pose. Rest your forearm on your thigh. Reach your left arm up. Look up to your phone. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend your right knee. Reach your right arm up and back. Just like you're going to high five that wall behind you if you had a wall. And then plant your hands, step back to plank, move through your chaturanga. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Step your foot in between your hands. Doesn't make it, place it there. Inhale, crescent moon, lower down, reach up. So sink down into your hips. But draw your belly in. Extend through the crown of your head. Imagine you're dragging your left heel back so your hips square to the top of your mat. Inhale. Exhale, half split. Bring your hands down. Lift your left toes. Take a few breaths here. Remember, you can also use blocks if you have them nearby. You can also wiggle your hips. Sometimes that's a nice stretch. And then come back. Inhale. Crescent moon. Reach up. Exhale. Airplane arms. Swing your arms back. Lift your back knee. 
Inhale, warrior two, ground your right heel down, open up to the long side of your mat, look towards your left fingertips. Make sure your knees rolling open to your pinky toe, your chest and your back are nice and open to the long side of your mat. Gaze towards your fingertips. And then come into side angle pose. Bring your left forearm to your thigh, stretch your right arm up. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your left knee, reach your left arm up and back. Draw your belly in, try to keep your chest towards the long side of your mat. Inhale, exhale, take your flow, plant your palms, step to plank, and find chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. This time we're going to move breath to movement. I'm going to add one part on just to make sure we have a big twist. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose. Sit low into a chair. Reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your flow. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Listen for the change. Inhale, crescent moon, reach up. Exhale, twist to your right. Pull your right hand behind you. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale into your half split. Bring your hands down, fold. Inhale, crescent moon, come back up. Exhale, airplane crescent. Lift your back knee, swing your arms back. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Bend your knee, reach up. Exhale, take your flow. You can always have the option to skip these, but I enjoy them. Other side, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, twist to your left. Pull your left hand behind you. So you're reaching your arms wide, twisting to your inner thigh. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Bring your hands down, fold. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, airplane crescent. Lift your back knee. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Left form to your thigh, reach your right arm up. Inhale, reverse warrior, bend your left knee, reach your left arm up. Exhale, take your flow. One more time, inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sink low, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, take your flow, so step or jump. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, twist to your right, pull your right hand behind you. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, airplane crescent. Lift your back knee. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, take your flow. Left side, inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, 
Exhale, twist to your left. Pull your left hand behind you. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, half split. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, airplane crescent. Lift your back knee. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, take your flow. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. One more time. Deep breath in. Sigh it out. Lower down. Rest in child's pose for a few breaths. Slow down. Slowly walk your hands in. Sip some water if you have it nearby. We're going to move on to belly up core. You're going to need to lie on your back. Let me get these blocks out of the way. And we're going to start with some belly up crunches. So you can bring the soles of your feet together and your knees wide into bound angle, cobbler's pose, supta baddha konasana, whatever you'd like to call it. Feet together, knees wide. Interlace your hands behind your head. Or I like to put my fingertips behind my ears. So press your low back into your mat. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, crunch. Shift your head and chest up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, crunch. And keep lifting up and down. Keep pressing your low back into your mat. Big exhale through your mouth as you lift. Four more. Last three. Yes, you can. Two. Last one. Good job. Extend your arms and your legs long. Take a few resting breaths here. We're going to get our core ready for our big arm balance at the end of this practice. And we're going to do one-sided crunches here, but we're going to do them on both sides. So first, bend your knees, put your feet on your mat, just like you prepare for bridge pose. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. And bring your fingertips behind your ears. Inhale, lift into a crunch. Exhale, twist your left elbow to your right knee. So as close as you can. Inhale, come back to center into your crunch. Exhale, twist, bring your left elbow to your right knee. Good, eight more. Spread your toes, flex your foot, press your right knee away from your face. You have to lift up more. Last four, three, two, last one. Good job. You can set your feet down, take a resting breath in between sides. And then switch out your legs. So you'll bring your left leg up, cross your left ankle over your right thigh. So you have like a hole between your legs. Bring your fingertips behind your ears. Ground through your low back. Inhale, lift into your crunch. Exhale, twist to your left. Bring your right elbow to your left knee. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist, bring your right elbow to your left knee. And then keep going. Almost there. Last two. Last one. Good job. This time, hug your knees into your chest. Slow down. We're going to take eight resting breaths. Stay here longer if you need to. If you're ready to move on, gently rock side to side.
Bring your hands underneath your knees. Rock up and down a few times on your spine. It's my favorite part. And then rock all the way up into boat pose. So you'll sit on your sit bones and you'll put your feet on your mat. Bring your knees together so your knees are touching and put your hands underneath your knees. Try to sit up as tall as you can. So lift your heart up. Yeah, stay right here. Or lean back and pick your feet up and hover. If you feel yourself rounding in your low back, set your feet down, sit up taller. And then try again. Stay here, reach your arms out, maybe look up. Well, shaking is good here. Means you're working for three, two, and one. Give yourself a little hug. <sighs> and then step into plank. So curl, roll over your legs or swing your legs back. This time come into side plank. Left hand is your foundation. Stack your feet. Reach your right arm up. This is one way to do it. Another way to do it is to lower your bottom knee and then lift up. I'm going to stack. And then switch sides when you're ready. Bring your right hand down. Stack your feet at the back of your mat. Reach your hips up. Remember, you can lower to your bottom knee. Nice job. From here, take your flow. Just stretch out in upward facing dog. Look to the right, look to the left, wiggle your hips. And press back. Downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Sigh it out. One more time, deep breath in. Sigh it out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, step or jump. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair pose, sit low into a chair, reach up. Exhale, prayer twist on your right, so hands in prayer, sit low into your chair, lower than you think you can. Prayer twist to your right, hook your left elbow across your left, your right thigh. Press your palms together, lift your chest up, sink your hips down. Inhale, chair. Exhale, prayer twist on your left side. So sink down into your chair, hook your right elbow across your left thigh, lift your chest up. And then release your hands down, come into gorilla pose. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. Bend your knees a lot to step on your hands. So slide your hands underneath your feet, make sure your toes touch. Bend your elbows, pull the crown of your head down, relax your head and neck. And then take your hands out. Come into crow pose. So from this forward fold stance, bend your elbows, stack your knees on the back of your arms. You're just going to practice rocking forward slightly. And then rock back. Try it again. Plant your palms. Rock forward. Maybe play with one foot, the other, both, and rock back. One more time. Let's play in crow. Plant your palms. Bend your elbows. Shift forward. Maybe lift both feet. Look forward and then release. Good job. Take a few resting breaths, either seated or come back to child's pose. I'm going to try seated. Now close your eyes for a moment. Reconnect to your breath, the breath that you had at the, the, the beginning of class. Press back into downward facing dog. Make sure I tuck my shirt in. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. So come up into a high lunge this time. Bend your front knee over your ankle. Lift your back heel over your toes. Sink down into your lunge. Breathe here. And then come into airplane crescent, sweep your arms back, lean forward. One-legged mountain pose, lift your left knee, come into a balance. 
and then take this into figure four. Cross your left ankle over your right thigh, sit down. So it's just like we did in those one-sided crunches where you cross your ankle over your thigh. Try to sit down into your chair. Get one spot in front of your mat. Maybe sit down a little bit lower. Three, two, and one. Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, lift your left leg. Exhale, crescent, airplane crescent, step back. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach up. Exhale, revolved crescent. So hands in prayer, sink down, lean forward, twist your left elbow, cross your right thigh. Press your palms together, lean your chest back. So big twist here. This will prepare us for a angle pose later. And then bring your hands down. Move into a lizard lunge. Your hands go to the inside of your right foot. Heel toe your right foot all the way to the edge of your mat, maybe even off your mat. You can stay up in a high lunge. You can drop to your back knee or your forearms and try to relax here for a few breaths. Soften your face, soften your jaw. Just breathe. Find a low lunge, so walk your right foot in between your hands. Heel toe that back in. Tuck your back toe, lift your back knee. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, wide forward fold. So pivot towards the long side of your mat. So your big toes are on one line, and the edges of your feet line up with the edges of your mat. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. Knee forward, relax your head and neck. Take a few resting breaths here. Walk your hands forward to a flat back, bend your knees. Reach your arms wide. Inhale, star pose, come up. Exhale, warrior two, turn to the top of your mat. Make sure your front heel lines up with your back arch. Come into triangle pose, once your feet are strong, straighten your front leg, reach your right hand forward, and bring your hand down to your shin or to a block. Stretch your left arm up. If you're using a block, just like this. I like the highest position, and then to reach up. So imagine there's a wall behind you, lean your chest back, bring your head back, look up to your thumb. And then inhale, reverse triangle this time, just take my block out of the way. Straighten your front leg, bump your right hip forward, look up to your thumb, get nice and long. Inhale, exhale, standing splits, bring your hands down, lift your left leg up. I like to drag my right foot back, so I know I'm going to hop. Stay right here. You can walk your hands back and try to balance. Bring one forearm to your calf or the other forearm to your calf or both. Keep your left toes active like you're going to pick something up the ceiling with your toes. If you would like to hop, come into the ball of your right foot, look between your hands, hop up, and then try to land softly. And then make your way back, downward facing dog. With a bit of cardio, we'll try this on the opposite side. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge. Come up into a high lunge. Hold and breathe, sink down, lift your back heel over your toes. Inhale, exhale, revolve crescent, or let's take this in an airplane crescent. Sweep your arms back, lean forward, and then take this into your balance. One-legged mountain pose. Pick your right leg up, spread your toes, flex your foot. And then come into figure four. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh, sit down into a chair, focus on one spot. And try to sit lower. There's so many other arm balances you can play with here. I'm saving it for the end. <laughs> Inhale, one-legged mountain pose, come back up. 
Exhale, crescent, airplane crescent. Step your foot back. Inhale, crescent lunge. Reach your arms up. Exhale, revolve, crescent lunge. So hands in prayer. Twist your right elbow across your left thigh. Press your palms together. Lift your chest up and back. Breathe. <laughs> From here, move into lizard lunge. Your hands go to the inside of your left foot and you heel toe your foot all the way to the edge of your mat. Slide your right foot back, stay up in a high lunge, lower to your knee or lower to your forearms. Try to relax your face, slow down your breath, breathe into your hips. Another option, you can put your forearms on the blocks. You can take the block out of the way and move back to low lunge. So put your left foot in between your hands. Tuck your back toes at your back knee. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of your head. Exhale, wide forward fold. Turn towards the long side of your mat. Inhale, come halfway up. Exhale, fold. And you can stay right here. Or sometimes I like to interlace my hands behind my back. Stretch your hands away from you. Release your hands down. Walk your hands forward to a flat back. Bend your knees and reach your arms wide, just like warrior two. Inhale, star pose, come up. Exhale, warrior two, turn to the top of your mat. And then come into triangle pose. Straighten your left knee, reach your left hand forward, bring your hand to your shin, stretch your right arm up. And look up to your thumb. And again, you can use a block here. And then, I like to bend my knee to come out of this, but inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten your left leg. When I say straighten, I mean keep a little bend, micro bend. Bump your left hip forward, reach your right arm straight up like you're picking fruit from a tree. Inhale, exhale, standing splits. Plant your palms, lift your right leg, and balance. You can stay here, or you can walk your hands back. Bring one form to your calf, or both. Keep your right toes active. And then if you're ready to hop, plant your palms, hop up, and try to land. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Exhale, half pigeon. Take your right knee to the right side of your mat, stretch your left foot back, and walk your hands back. Lift your chest up. This is one option. Try to find the center of your hips and lean to the right, lean to the left, find the center of that. You can stay up here, you can fold. Just take three more breaths. Slowly walk your hands back. And then instead of moving to downward facing dog, you're going to lean to the right and swing your left foot forward. Okay. So just like we did in crunches and just like we did in our standing balance, you're going to sit up tall and cross your right ankle over your left thigh. So try to sit up as tall as you can. You can even use blocks. So we're going to use blocks a lot. If you need to sit up tall, press your hands into the blocks, spread your right toes, press your right knee away from you. And then you can hug your leg, extend your left leg, rock your baby, side to side. And then 
With your right hand, grab the outer edge of your right foot, pull it back behind you, just like you're gonna answer a phone call with your foot, and then hook your leg over your shoulder. I'll turn to the front so you can see. If your leg doesn't go all the way up, that's okay, this is where you stay, and it works better with time rather than trying to force your leg. So if this is where you're at, this is where you're at. Separate, celebrate. You can put the blocks on either side of your foot. It's a good place to stay. Option one is to plant your hands and try to lift. Option two, we're gonna come into eight angle. So you'll have to wrap your foot, keep your toes really active, and then extend your leg straight as much as you can. Lean forward, squeeze, 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 and try to lift your hips. So keep your arms in chaturanga, just do the best you can. This is a really tricky pose for me, but I really need to practice it. So keep trying, we'll try it one more time. Okay, grab your foot, pull it back. Okay, once it's really up, spread your toes, wrap your foot, and then extend, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then release. Both sides are a little bit different, so we'll try this on the opposite side. Come back to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, half pigeon. Take your left knee to the edge of your mat, send your right foot back, and lift your chest up. Make sure you're right in the center of your hips. Stay up here or fold. Slow down your breath. Slowly walk your hands back up, lift your chest. If you don't have blocks, you can just put your hands on the floor. I forgot to say that. So lean to one side, especially your left side. Swing your right leg forward. I'm gonna show you from the front. You're gonna cross your left ankle over your right thigh and sit up tall. As tall as you can, spread your toes. Breathe, slow down. Grab your blocks, bring them close to your hips, hug your knee and your foot in a crook of your elbows. Stand your right leg and just rock side to side. Sit up tall. It's all about sitting up. That's the big challenge. We move into eight angle. Grab the outside edge of your left foot with your left hand. Pull your knee back, just like you're gonna answer a phone call. Sit up tall. And then wrap your leg around your tricep. So pull it up and back. And you can stay here, practice lifting up and lowering down, or take this into the full expression of eight angle. Hook your feet, so you have to really spread your toes wide, and then extend your legs. Extend, 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 straighten. Lean forward, try to run your arms. Try that again. <laughs> Just do the best you can to extend. Another way to do it is to put your face on the floor first and then lift your legs. That's a little bit easier to get into it. It's still a challenge, but it helps you build that balance. So let's try it that way. Bring your foot back, lift your foot, and we're gonna start with our head on the floor. Extend your legs, extend, float, and maybe lift your head. And then release. <laughs> so keep trying this, that's a big pose. It's difficult for everybody, so don't worry if you don't get it the first time. It takes maybe 100 times to try it. So let's move on into bridge pose. Take your blocks out of the way, you might want to use one block. Just lie on your back. Put the block between your thighs. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, bridge. Lift your hips up. Try not to use your block <laughs> like I did. Lift your hips. Look at one spot on the ceiling.
and then release. Take a few resting breaths here. You can try bridge again with the block, without the block, or I'm gonna try full back bend wheel pose. Let's see if I can get into it. I try to slow down. If you'd like to try bridge, you know how to do it for wheel. Bring your hands by your ears. Tuck your fingers in. Plant your palms, lift your hips, and lift. So I like to bring my hands and my feet as wide as my mat to lift. And then lower down, crown of your head first. Body in the way. <laughs> and then bring your feet together and your knees wide into bound angle. If this hurts your knees, you can take the reverse of it. Bring your knees together and your feet wide. Bring your right hand to your belly, left hand to your heart. Close your eyes. Bring your knees into your chest. Drop your knees together over to your left side. Reach your right arm out. Cactus your arms. Look to your right hand. Spinal twist. Bring your knees back up. And switch sides. Take your knees to your right side. I'm going to shift my hips to the left and then bring my knees to the right. Look to your left hand. Into your back, hug your knees into your chest, pull your knees in, maybe make yourself into a tiny little ball. Inhale, exhale, release the vasanas. Extend your legs long, reach your arms down to your sides, close your eyes. You're welcome to stay here for up to five minutes. I'm going to stay here for about 12 breaths, and I'll let you know when to come up. stay here longer. If you're ready to come out of this, wiggle your fingers and your toes. Gently roll to your side. Help yourself up to a seat. Get up tall, close your eyes, take a few breaths on your own.
please bring your hands together in prayer to close and say namaste. Namaste. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think. I still need a lot of work on my eight angle pose, but it's a great workout. So keep coming back. Try again. Let me know what you think. I will see you next time. Bye.